This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Bruchem Abayim, welcome everyone to a special edition of all Parsha on Parshas Vayeshev, the Baal HaTurim on Parshas Vayeshev. This week we would like to focus on one comment on the Baal HaTurim. This is one of my all-time favorite Baal HaTurims. The Baal HaTurim says, Parak Lamed Zayin, Pasa Gimel, V'Yisrael Ahaves Yosef Mikol Banav Kiven Zekunim Hu Loi V'Yasa Loi Kesoynes Pasim Yaakov loved Yosef from all of his sons because he was a Ben Zekunim. By the way, all the Rishonim ask, Yosef was a Ben Zekunim. Binyamin was much more of a Ben Zekunim. Binyamin was the youngest. <coughs> Chizkuni says, interestingly, that Yosef was also born to Yaakov's old age, and Yosef acquired the title and the status of Ben Zekunim, and Binyamin couldn't shake him from that title. But the Baal Turah makes an amazing comment, that the word Zekunim is a noitrika, an acronym. It's an acronym for Zroim, Kodshim, Noshim, Yeshuais, Mayed, for the Siddharm of the Mishnah. Zayin, Zroim, Kuf, Kodshim, Nun, Nashim, Yud, Yeshuais, the Gemara in Masech the Shabbos, Lam and Aleph, Lam and Aleph, calls Nazikin Yeshuais because by learning Nazikin you save yourself from damage and Mem from Mayed. And the obvious question is while Yosef seemed to have gotten a, quite an extensive Jewish education through Yaakov Avinu, that now we understand Yaakov loved Yosef because Yaakov taught Yosef <coughs> the Torah that he learned. But it seems that Yaakov did not teach him one of the starim. After all, their Shisha Sidre Mishnah. What happened to Taharois? Or the Gemara and Shabbos refers to Taharois as Das. And that is um, conspicuously absent from this Remez and this mnemonic. Why didn't Yaakov Avinu teach Yosef Taharois? And <coughs> the Imre Yemes in his Likutim on page Kuf Yudches, he quotes this Baal HaTurim, and he asks, Lama loy nirmas tarois, what happened to tarois? And the Imre MS says, well, tarois you can't give over. you got to learn it yourself. Tarois you have to acquire yourself. That is the approach of the Imre MS. <clears throat> Amazingly, the Megala Amukah, it's in Parashas Vayigash, he also asks this question. He points out, Zukunim is Rosh Tevois, five of the Siddharim. And <clears throat> the Megala Amukah asks, well, what happened to tarois? He says, for Tarois, Yosef has to go down to Mitzrayim. He has to see Ervas Haaretz, see what Toma is, and separate from himself from it. Tarois, so to speak, has to be experienced by separating from the Toma of this world. Similar to what the Imre MS says, but amazingly, the Megala Mukas has already addressed this question. So, Yosef HaTzadik has mastered five of the six Siddharim, and... <coughs> It is his mission to learn Tarois while being in Mitzrayim. Does he do it? So I want to share with you the Minchas Yitzchak in his Drushim Velikutim in a Hashmata on Parshas Vayigash, page Reish, page Gimel. He brings another amazing remez. When Yosef reveals himself to the brothers, Yosef says to the brothers, look, don't sweat it, don't worry, you didn't send me here, God sent me here, and he sends gifts to his father, and he sends his father, Ule. He sends his father from the goodness of Egypt. Says Rashi, He sent him old wine, aged wine, that the mind of elders is pleased with. <coughs> Says the Menchas Yitzchak, and others say, say this as well. Yosef was telling Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov, you taught me five Siddharma of the Mishnah. It was my mission to master Tarois. Guess what, Yaakov? I mastered it. He sent him, Yayin Yoshon, Shedas, Zekeinim Noicha Yimenu. Das, of course, is a nomenclature, is a terminology used for Seder Tarois. So Yosef was indicating, Dad, the one thing that you gave over to me, you left to me to master, I mastered it here in Mitzrayim, in Ervas Haaretz. He sent him Yayin, Yashon, Shadas, Zekenim, Noicha, Himeno. So, I'd like to speak a few minutes about this uh, concept that Tarois is called Das. As if it's the ultimate 
branch of knowledge. Interestingly, the Gemara and Shabbos that tells us that the, these six Siddharim have six names. Emunas Yitecha. Emunas is Ram, Yitecha is Mayed, Chaisen, Yeshua is Nashim Nazikin, Chachmas Vadas is referring to the six Siddharim. And then the Gemara says that after 120, they ask a person certain questions, starting with, did a person deal honestly in business? Nasasav Nasata Be'emuna, Kavata Itim Latoira. Asakta b'peri of Arivia, tzipisa li Yeshua, palpalta b'chachma, hivanta davar mitoich davar. Six questions a person um, is asked after 120. The Gra makes note of the fact that the Gemara says the first question asked is, did you deal honestly in business? But that's not what the Gemara in Kedushin says. The Gemara in Kedushin says that t'chilasoi shal adam, that the first thing a person is asked after 120 is rak b'devei Taira. Tchilas dinoi shaladam inoi rak b'devei Taira. Taisus itself asks this question in Masech Kedushin. And the Gras says as follows, that the six questions are really, did you learn the Shisha Sidre Mishnah? Asakta nasasa v'nasata be'emuna? The question is, did you learn Zra'im? Kavati itim l'Taira? Did you learn Mayed? The six questions are, did you learn the Shisha Siddharim? And Hevanta Dover Mitach Dover is, did you master Tarois? That's how the Gra understands that Gemara and Shabbos. Tarois is called Das. One would expect then that the deepest branch of knowledge and understanding and rationale would be Tarois. And yet the Rambam writes, at the very end of Hilchos Mekvais, Parak Yodal, Halach he says that it is clear, Davar Baror Vagaloi, that Tuma Vitahara is Xeris Hakosov, Enam Midvarim Shedaitoi Shal Adam Machratoi. You can't really make heads or tails. You can't extrapolate or understand. These are just tenets of divine wisdom. They're chukim. Immersion in a mikvah. It's also a chaik. And the Rambam, though, says there is a certain remez in the details and in the uh, guidelines of Tum Avatara, and that is that just like when a person concentrates and focuses to purify himself and he goes into a mikvah, even though he doesn't feel or he's not actually changing anything about his body, but his body is rendered pure, so too, someone who purifies their soul from the false ideologies and bad opinions and attitudes. Once he makes up in his mind, But it's quite amazing that the branch of Torah, which is called understanding and knowledge, is a discipline that is beyond our understanding. And this is the most Extreme example of a chayk, an area of Torah that we don't understand. <clears throat> What's even more remarkable are the comments of the Toysus Yamtiv to the Hakdama to Tarais. The Toysus Yamtiv says that all Tumah came into the world through the agent of the sin of Adam Arishan that was hurled upon him by the snake, by the Nachash. And that brought all Misa to the world, all Tumah to the world. Saras, Tomas Nida, Tomas Misa, that all came through the sin of Adam Arishan that was brought through the snake. It's an interesting introductory comment to the, law, to the laws of Tuma Vatara, that all Tuma, all lack of Das was brought about by the snake. Now, let's focus for a moment. That means all Tuma was brought to the world when Adam Arishon ate from the Eitz Hadas. Isn't that interesting? Tuma was brought to the world by eating from the Eitz Hadas. And Tarois is called Das. So there must be some connection between the violation of Das through the sin of the Eitz Hadas that brought all Tuma to the world and purification through the body of knowledge called Das. And uh, the following idea 
is called from the Sefer Chikrei Lev and Parshas Bahaloischa, as well as the Sefer Shemen Atoy V'chilak Dal and Parshas Chukas. When Adam Arishon ate from the Eitz Hadas, it was based on rationalization and thinking that even though the Rebbein Shem forbid it, maybe he could somehow outsmart God, outsmart creation, and outsmart himself. Like the Pasuk says in Kohelas, God made man straight. Rashi in Kohela says, God made Adam Harishon straight. But, Vehema, but when Adam listened to Chava, Bikshu Chishvoinois Rabim, by eating from the Eitz Hadas. The sin of the Eitz Hadas was a sin of trying to comprehend and understand beyond the pale of human reason. God told him, black and white, he can't eat it. So now's not the time to apply human rationale, human logic. Now's the time to abdicate one's own limited understanding and say, the Almighty said, don't do it. Then, bottom period, can't do it. Don't start explaining, he meant under these circumstances, under these conditions, no, now's the time to say that the Yibana Shalom has commanded me a specific tzivoy and I abdica- abdicate human reasoning and I subjugate it to das Elohim. So in effect, the das that brings all Tumah to the world is when a person aggrandizes the das of Basar Vadam. But when a person subjugates the mind and the attitude of a Basar Vadam, and is willing to be mishabed and subjugate his outlook and attitude to that which HaKadosh Baruch Hu has told him, that's the ultimate das. So all Tumah came to the world by eating from the Eitz Hadas, by trying to apply human rationale to everything that takes place in this world. But all Tara will come when a person throws away that notion and a person subjugate himself to das alaykim, which is seder tarois. Perhaps we could say, Yosef HaTzadik, he learned the lesson of das by going down to Mitzrayim. This was something that was inexplicable to Yosef. Here he is, he's the prized student of Yaakov Avinu. He's destined for greatness. He's destined to be an av. He's destined to be the father of the Jewish people. And he's kidnapped and he goes down to Ervas Haaretz, and he is accused of the worst crimes, and he's on the bottom of the pit with snakes and scorpions, and Ma Asa Eloi what, What's Rebbe Hashem doing? He can't understand the Hashkoch El Yoyna. And yet, he sees that everything was with a purpose, everything was with a plan. He sat back and he said, Okay, Rebbe Hashem, show me what you're going to do. And Yosef is propelled to greatness, and he becomes king of the world. The Yosef who Hashalat, I'll call Amei Haaretz. Yosef ruled the known world, and through that, he was able to bring his family down and establish the Jewish people in Mitzrayim, so that we wouldn't get lost in Galus Mitzrayim, and ultimately we'd be able to leave and be Makabal the Torah. Yosef understood that the limitations of Das Adam, and that true Das is only recognizing and abdicating our limited understanding of the ways of the world and recognizing that there's a greater force. That is the limud of Seder Taharois. That was the limud of Yosef in Mitzrayim. That's what Yosef sends to his father. Dad, you taught me Zikunim. You taught me the five. And in Mitzrayim, I understood the sixth. The sixth is Das, Seder Taharois. The ultimate Das Elohim. So, Adam Arishon eats from the Eitz Hadas and he injects a certain Zuama into the world, but in the core Habarzel of Mitzrayim, that Eitz Hadas Toy Vara has been purged and we are elevated, we are propelled to Mechabel, the Torah and Har Sinai, that the summit and the crowning jewel of the Torah is Chachmas Vadas the Das Alekim. Wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos, <coughs> Parshas Vayeshev, Shabbos Mavarchim, Chodesh, Teves haba alenu latayma. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.